Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to share a couple of new additions to my wardrobe. I've accumulated a few new things since January and I wanted to share those with you. Starting with this H&M suit and I'm going to start by talking a little bit about the blazer. One thing that really drew me to this particular coordinate is the colour and I really love that muted blue tone. It's something that I've really incorporated this year and this suit is just so great for the price. I really wish I had somewhere to wear this to at the moment but unfortunately I think it'll just be for an occasion at home or maybe for a Zoom meeting. It's in a really lightweight fabric which means that I can wear it in the house because it's really comfortable and I really like that although I'm wearing a suit, it still somehow feels relaxed and I think styling it with trainers really helps to do that. Next up is another H&M piece and it's a cashmere jumper, again in that really beautiful muted blue colour. This is such a lovely lightweight knit and it's so comfortable and really snug. Since I bought this I've had so much wear out of it, I throw it on whenever I need to run out of the house or if I just want to feel a little bit more polished but still comfortable. And I'm surprised at how versatile this colour is, I feel like it goes with so many different tones and it matches a lot of my outerwear pieces. I really am a fan of sleeveless knits and I love this one from Mango. It's in a really nice chunky fabric and I like how structured it is. I feel like with pieces like this that might be out of your comfort zone, it's really great to introduce them in neutral colours because it's so much easier to style. But this piece is something that I think will suit everyone and if you get it in a slightly oversized fit, it can look really relaxed and really cool. It looks great thrown on with a t-shirt, over a turtleneck or even a really nice silky blouse and you can even play around with different patterns underneath. This is a really versatile piece because I can wear this right now but I'm sure I could also wear it through to spring. I found quite a few pieces on Mango and I was so pleased about this jumper. I really love these zip up sweaters. I think there's something so relaxed and casual about them and they go with so many pieces. I really love that this one has a slightly gold tone to the hardware but it's not too in your face or too brassy. The actual material is really nice and soft and it's almost fleece like so it's so warm but it's still something that I think I'll be able to wear into the warmer months. We are getting a bit more sun here and it's something that I can throw on with some jeans or some trousers or maybe even a skirt and it's a really great addition. Going for more playful and more statement knitwear at this time of the year is really great because you can actually wear them out comfortably. I really love this jumper from Mango, I loved it the minute I saw it because it has that really structured effect. I really like that slightly off blue colour, it has slight hints of black running through it which is not noticeable at first glance but it adds a really nice effect. And it's very similar to a Chloe jumper that I had my eye on but at a major fraction of the price. This is something that will look great with blue denim maybe even white denim jeans or white trousers but I've styled it up with some leather pants here which is slightly out of my comfort zone but I think it complements the jumper really well. I truly do have a weakness for cardigans and Under the Stories is probably my go-to when it comes to really perfect cute chic jumpers. I really like this one because it has that slight Parisian feel and element to it and I love that the little designs like the button, they finish so beautifully so it makes it look a lot more premium and expensive. I see myself wearing this so much in spring but I'm also able to wear it right now in winter with a coat thrown on top. It's going to be one of those pieces that are so versatile and will go with so many items in my closet. I thought long and hard about this coat, I had my eye on it for a long time and it is quite pricey so I really had to give it some thought. It's from a brand called 12 Stories, I've not shopped there before, this is my first time purchasing anything from there and I was really pleased with the purchase. I was hunting down a really oversized grey coat, my favourite coat from Mango became damaged, I've had it for years now, so I was on the hunt for a new one. I really love that this is a real statement coat so even if I'm wearing a really plain and boring outfit it will elevate it immediately and make me feel like I put more of an effort in. This coat will go with pretty much everything, it'll look great with a dress underneath, some trousers, maybe you can go for a grey and grey outfit or even my favourite piece which is styling it with denim jeans. 
I was searching through the Joseph sale and I came across this beautiful brown jacket. This is a super timeless piece and it felt like the perfect addition to my wardrobe because I tend not to buy short jackets but this one is so beautiful. Brown is really in at the moment but because I'm a lover of neutrals I know that adding a brown piece into my wardrobe is not just a trend it's something that will actually last me a long time and I'll get a lot of wear out of. The fabric is this beautiful soft buttery wool and it's so nice to the touch it looks such high quality and I really feel like you're getting your money's worth with something like this it lasts you such a long time and being in the UK I know this is something I'll get to wear in spring autumn and winter this next piece is slightly out of my comfort zone and a little bit of an experimental piece which I tend not to do often. It's a long leather jacket from Mango and I'm not sure exactly what drew me to the jacket but I knew when I saw it I could imagine myself wearing this in multiple ways. I'm hopeful that I can wear this in spring with a really oversized t-shirt, maybe some baggy jeans and trainers, I think it will look really cool. I really like that it has that slightly 90s feel to it. I think it looks great paired with really classic staples. I'm pretty excited to style this jacket. Even though it's a little bit cold over here, I found myself wanting to reach for it and wear it out, but maybe when it gets a little bit warmer. Came across this knitted dress in H&M and again, knitted dresses are not something that I tend to gravitate towards. I think maybe because of lockdown and pretty much being quite bored, I'm experimenting a little bit more. Although this is something slightly out of my comfort zone, it's still something that's very timeless and classic. And I'm hoping that when things relax a little bit, I'm able to wear this out. It has these really nice balloon sleeves that help to elevate a really simple piece like this. It's also really warm and comfortable. I tend not to go for bodycon, but this surprisingly feels quite comfortable to me. This will look great styled with some chunky boots because I love mixing feminine and masculine pieces together but I also think it'll look great with a trench coat thrown on top. If you're a regular on this channel you'll probably already know that I absolutely love gold jewellery and one of my favourite go-to places for jewellery is Misoma. With it being sweater weather I find that chunky statement hoops look so great with every outfit and they really help to pull everything together and take an outfit to the next level. Misoma jewellery is such high quality, it lasts me such long time and these are pieces that I wear day in day out without fail and I love these additions to the Misoma collection which are the chubby hoops. They're a real great statement but I also find that they're really classic hoops so it'll get a lot of wear out of them. Next up are some jeans from Weekday. I've never bought jeans from Weekday but I do like a lot of their other pieces and what drew me to this particular pair of denim is the fact that it's got a really relaxed leg and I wanted something a little bit longer than my usual ankle length. These feel really relaxed and they're also very comfortable so I'm happy to wear them indoors but I really like how they pair with all outfits and they help to make everything feel a lot more laid back and a lot more casual. These sit just below the ankle and just touching the shoes which I think is really great and it also keeps my ankles warm. I managed to find these trousers in the mango sale they were around eight pounds and I couldn't believe what an amazing bargain that was because I was on the hunt for some tapered grey trousers to go with a bunch of different pieces in my wardrobe. This is a great piece because you could really dress it up in the evening when we can go out or you can wear it really casually with some trainers, an oversized jumper, maybe a trench coat thrown on for spring but it's also a timeless piece and you can wear it through seasons. My last piece are the trousers to go with the H&M blazer that I showed at the beginning and these are really nice because they can be worn on its own as can the blazer. These are really fluid so they're very comfortable and I really like that they're a tapered leg so they really flatter a lot of different body shapes. They are slightly high waisted which is great because I really like high waisted trousers. I think these trousers will look great thrown on with a white jumper, maybe a stone trench coat. I think that would be a really beautiful spring outfit. But it's also something that I could wear in winter too because it's that nice cool blue that I think looks really great in that season. So those are a couple of pieces that I have purchased recently. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.